Hey everyone, Matt DiNapoli here, and I'm here with uh, Shailesh Mandrakar, uh, the CMO for Cloud Fabrics, who's one of our partners working on the FSO platform. Welcome. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Thanks for having me here. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what Cloud Fabrics does? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so Cloud Fabrics uh, has been a Cisco partner for last probably couple years. So yeah. we were actually uh, the technology partner program was where we started, and then most recently uh, we've been part of the. A DPP program uh, okay. as a de de design partner for the Cisco's FSO platform, and uh, we've been uh, we've been working with Cisco very closely uh, for a number of uh, customer engagements and mm -hmm. POCs. Okay. Yeah, the FSO platform is really exciting for Cisco because it allows um, partners like you guys to build solutions on top of it um, to take advantage of open telemetry in areas that um, we might not already have data coming in. Can you talk about the solution that Cloud Fabrics has built on the FSO platform and, and that we're talking about this week? Yeah, absolutely. So let me actually give you a little perspective on the sure. FSO platform itself, right? So uh, if you look in the, in the out there in the market, it's really there's a convergence happening around data, right? Mm -hmm. So if you look at operational domains, whether it be observability, whether it be security, whether it be networking, all of them are converging around data. And there are various implementations of how that convergence looks like. Mm -hmm. There are vendors out there in the market who are doing data lakes, right? So Cisco's innovation, uh, FSO platform, in at least in our mind, is fairly innovative because you know cool. when it comes to really high cardinality telemetry, uh, you know, it's not just about the volume of data, but also only keeping things which really matter, yeah. right? And FSO platform achieves this very effectively with the model they have, which is really uh, based on open telemetry A, it's based on also the entity models, uh -huh. okay? So uh, what that means is you, you, uh, you can be pretty much model any entity model and only keep relevant merit information to that particular entity model. Plus it has a unified query language, uh, which doesn't have to be, I mean it's optimized for all MEL types, right? Yeah. Otherwise you got to use different MEL uh, query languages for different data types. So those are some of the advantages what we saw. And the value what we are adding is, obviously there is open telemetry is, is known as uh, really, you know, it, it, it's the next thing, right? Mm -hmm. It's number two project after Kubernetes, right? right. Uh, it's eating the world, as they say, yeah. right? But uh, there's a world out there, a big world out there, which is still not open telemetry compliant. Okay. So what we are able to do effectively is bring all of those data sources from the hybrid world. Uh, our platform is actually a low-code platform. Okay. So it's based on bots, so we, our bots are able to take that hybrid sources, convert it into open telemetry. But more importantly, they're able to enrich it with the context information, right? Oh, so cool. FSA platform is all about bringing your uh, subject matter expertise or your domain knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what we are able to effectively do. So for GA, uh, we have kept ourselves focused on vSphere observability. Oh, so cool. that's the solution which uh, you know uh, you folks Liz announced yeah. in today in today's keynote. But there's a lot more we we are planning to do going forward. But I'll pause here and see if that no, makes sense. No, that, that's all really exciting. Um, so you talked about uh, you just mentioned that you guys did a, a, v, a v sphere implementation. So just just so I'm clear and making sure that I understand what you said, you guys are taking the data that could come out of vSphere. Um, you're doing a translation of it into open telemetry so that FSO can consume it and provide that view into the um, the runtime of the the virtual machines that are running potentially in our data centers and uh, allowing us to see that in a consolidated space um, that it, did I get that right? Yeah, that absolutely, a, that's absolutely, exciting. right? So just to be a little more precise, right? So every model has to be, first of all, every entity has to be modeled yeah, when okay. it comes to the FSO platform. So how we went about was we actually modeled the vSphere solution stack, how it will look like, okay. all the way from ESI, uh, EXI host to VMs to the applications running, right, to Kubernetes running Wait, on top of that. Even the applications? Yeah, so wow. the, obviously, you know, now you you have applications running in Kubernetes on mm -hmm. those VMs, right? Yeah. So we, we model the entire stack as an entity model. Yeah. So that was kind of the first step. And then after that we integrate with real-time sources, mm -hmm. so we can go directly to vCenter to get all the topology context. We work with uh, products like VROps for okay. the telemetry, the live telemetry, and then we're able to ingest this uh, data, live telemetry data, transform that, uh, enrich that with you know the context or the topology information. Mm -hmm. So now when you view within the user experience of the FSO platform, uh, we have a sample financial application running with multiple microservices. And when you click on that application, you are able to see the entire stack all the way from the services 
to your Kubernetes wow. namespaces, to pods, to containers, to VMs, to EXI host, huh. the entire, the whole, whole nine yards. Wow, and that kind of melds the concept of hybrid cloud, so we can look at our on-premises services through your solution, um, all the way to the application, that's amazing. Um, and then also see what's going on in the public cloud services uh, as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow, that's Absol fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, before we let you go, are there any other things you want to yeah, share? Yeah, well, so again, I mean, this was just kind of a you know, um, um, use case we kind of chose to begin with, uh -huh. uh, but there's there's a lot more we intend to do, right? We can add value. Uh, okay. Uh, so there is also conversations going on with the with the teams around our telco service assurance solution mm -hmm. because telco is one of those verticals where there is all kind of data yeah. right so there is snmp traps there is bulk stats on the mobility side right uh, there is gnmi right? there is snmp sys logs right yeah. how do you bring all of these disparate data sources and that's really what we we our platform is called robotic data automation fabric platform right okay. so that's really the different the key differentiator where you know it's 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 able to take data from these disparate sources, mm -hmm. it's able to transform it, it's yep. able to contextualize it, and then you can run AI ML on top of it. Okay. okay. So that's how we are able to bring data from a variety of use cases. So vSphere observability was the first kind of an first uh, attempt, a right? Useful. Yeah, a very useful <laughs> attempt, right? Because a lot of enterprise applications. Uh, but beyond that, we're calling this service as observability data modernization service, okay. right? That means you can have any of these hybrid sources leverage that service and ingest data into the FSO platform, okay. right? And beyond that, we're looking at, as I said, uh, telco service assurance, there is SAP solution, there's our own uh, AI ops, and so there's a plethora of services where we can add value into yeah. the platform. So looking forward to this partnership, yeah. Yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you for uh, partaking in that, and the solution sounds amazing to begin with. The opportunities sound fantastic, yeah, yeah. so I'm really excited to see what cloud, the more yeah. Cloud Fabrics does on yeah, top of yeah, SO, yeah. FSO platform. Thank you so yeah, much for yeah. joining me today and giving us some insight into what you guys have done and um, the, the solutions that you have built. Yeah, this no, absolutely. Fantastic. I would like to thank the Cisco FSO team, the leadership, <laughs> right, and yeah. obviously it's been a great opportunity for us to be one of the three partners, yeah. right? And uh, it's, been a, it's been a great uh, kind of experience for us. So even in spite of this platform being a new platform, yeah. we were able to get this solution up and running in a short time frame of about four to six weeks, right? Yep. So it, we, it's kind of an incredible achievement yeah. for both of us, right? Yes, I agree. And uh, we're looking forward to many more of these milestones. Well, wonderful. Thank you for joining us today. And everyone, enjoy uh, your time at Cisco Live. Thank you, Thanks, Matt. Shalish. I appreciate it. Thanks yes, for having yes, me. Cheers.